Good morning, YouTubers, fellow reloaders, and all that other stuff I usually say on the beginning of my introductions. Reloading Bench, back with you once again on a gorgeous Saturday morning. Just went for coffee. A little brisk outside, but it's going to be a beautiful, uh, maybe low to mid-60s uh, weekend day. And uh, this is yet another unintended video, but uh, I just thought it was kind of indicative of the craziness that's occurring right now with, uh, with regards to shortages and price increases. I mean, we were at the supermarket this week, and... Uh, your normal supermarket, not your foofy, you know, boutique supermarket with the yuppie pricing uh, and such. But uh, we're at your normal uh, blue collar supermarket, white collar supermarket, whatever color, color, color you are. And uh, a gallon of milk was $8. Over $8. Just sh just uh, shy over $8. Uh, and it was uh, and it was Foofy Milk, uh, some Clover brand, but uh, you know I'm used to paying two between two and three dollars for a gallon of milk, and I, we just get the the whatever uh, cheapy brand two percent milk, uh, and even the cheapy no name or low brand low end brand two percent milk uh, is now four dollars a gallon. Uh, but again, just indicative of uh, all the craziness in pricing. But on to this video. And I was on one of the local boards uh, in the classified sections, and uh, I love to eye shop, uh, look for stuff. Uh, the deals are gone now because of all the craziness of the cough and the, and the, and the whatever over the last year and a half. But there's always something out there that's worth um, looking at or just browsing to see how normal and or crazy prices are like with primers and powders. You know, two cent primers are now 10 plus cents and... $20 powders or upwards of $60, depending on who's trying to sell it. But I came across a posting for somebody selling their Hornady 366 shot shell reloading press. And they, the way they advertised it was hardly used, almost new condition, blah, blah, blah. And I looked at it, I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I saw the price. He's quoting prices from big name vendors, uh, and I'll throw them out there, Midway, Brownells. Um, and he said pricing from thirteen fifty to sixteen fifty for the press, so he 's asking eight seventy five for his used press and I thought there is no way that a three sixty six is fifteen hundred and fifty dollars and then I thought to myself i don 't remember paying anywhere near that last year, so I dug up my uh, my invoice from Brownells, so I placed my original order on May ninth and it went to a back order status because uh, they don't keep uh, uh, the shot shell, the 366 in inventory. So then once they get enough orders, I guess they kick it out to Hornady. Hornady produces it. And then my order shipped almost a month later, uh, 6-5 of 2020. 707, 7037, 7037. So I waited, you know, four plus three and a half weeks, no big deal. Uh, this was, you know, the early part of 2020, so the cough hadn't really, you know, shut a, shut everything down globally. But that was my price, 807.99. So we'll just call it 808, uh, plus shipping, tax, shipping five dollars. You just can't beat that. But you know, tax, and I think at the time tax was nine, nine and some percent. Now it's ten and some percent. But my point is, this was 800 bucks. And when I jumped out, because I thought the guy was crazy for quoting prices as high as, as 1550 And sure enough, I jumped out to all those sites that he mentioned, and I priced the press. The 12-gauge is coming in at uh, 1350 which is about a 60, greater than a 65% increase in the $807.99 I paid. Almost close to 70% in the span of a year and a half. That's crazy. Um, and some of the more uh, obtuse or unusual or less popular or whatever the right phrase is, because it's popular if you're shooting it, but I don't shoot it. Or uh, let me rephrase that. I don't reload for it. 410. 410 was the highest price at 1550 uh, with the uh, 12 gauge being the cheapest at, you know, 1350 So he wasn't exaggerating in his pricing. And I thought to myself, wow, 
uh, let me go out and look. And again, sure enough. So then I thought to myself, I remember comparing the uh, PW800 Plus, my Posnus Warren 800 Plus, which I think uh, that and the 366 are both great machines. I think the, the, uh, the, the PW800 Plus is a heftier, uh, more industrial machine than the 366. But essentially, you know, they, they're designed to both do the same thing. They're progressive presses and they produce shot shell. But at the time the PW was a little more expensive than the 366. Today, I went out this morning and checked PW, uh, nine, uh, 950. I think it was nine, it was either 850 or 950. Uh, I want to say maybe 950. 950 for the PW 800 plus in 12 gauge versus 1350 for the 366 in 12 gauge. So if I was buying today, and those were my two choices, a PW800 Plus or a Hornady 366, I wouldn't give it a second thought. I'd, I'd definitely go with the PW800 Plus um, at, you know, close to almost a 50% savings uh, in, in price. Uh, nine, 950 versus another $400 plus uh, to get a machine uh, that does the same thing. But again, I understand everybody has their preferences. But uh, again, if I was uh, looking at this today, I thought this was a, a, an equitable price, and I think I paid less than half that for my PW800+, Plus, which is one of the reasons uh, I picked it up, because I wasn't in the market for a second, uh, actually technically third, shot shell reloader. But uh, at that price, I couldn't pass it up. And it's nice to see that Posnus Warren um, has not uh, taken advantage of folks um, the way other manufacturers have. And to go from $807, $808 to $1,350 to $1,550 uh, for the same device within a year, I think is, uh, that's unfortunate. But uh, I guess it's a uh, also a sign of the time. So um, reality. And uh, once those prices creep up, uh, they don't creep back down. Uh, you can blame it on supply chain, materials, cost of wages, rents, you name it, um, those prices aren't coming back down. So whether you call it inflation, uh, shrinkflation, whatever you want to call it, um, those prices are here to stay. So that's unfortunate. All right. Enjoy your rest of this beautiful Saturday and weekend. Take care, folks.